Legendary geysers like Old Faithful continue to erupt faithfully every 90 minutes, while Steamboat, the world's tallest geyser, still emits small eruptions. The churning hot water brings minerals from deep within the Earth, creating unique colors on its surface. In the past 24 hours, several small earthquakes, each measuring less than magnitude 3, have been recorded. Scientists call this normal for Yellowstone, part of Earth's breathing system, caused by the movement of magma and hot water underground. Yellowstone is closely monitored by the Yellowstone Volcano, YVO. They check for ground deformation, monitor the temperature of hot springs, and measure emissions of gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur. Recent data shows no signs of an imminent major eruption. In recent days, visitors to Yellowstone have witnessed herds of bison and elk running from the main pasture. These videos quickly went viral on social media, sparking wild speculation about a possible supervolcanic eruption. The internet is abuzz. Some believe this is a sign of disaster, while others scoff at the theory. But as always, truth requires evidence, not just viral videos. Scientists explain that animal behavior is often influenced by the season, weather, and food availability. Herd movements are normal, especially when seeking richer pastures or escaping snowstorms. However, experts monitor whether these movements correlate with increased geothermal or seismic activity. This monitoring is conducted by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, a consortium led by the USGS, in collaboration with various universities and state geological agencies. They use equipment such as seismic instruments, GPS, to detect ground changes, volcanic gas monitoring, hydrothermal temperature sensors, and webcams and thermal imagery. Why is this monitoring important? Although major eruptions are extremely rare, scientists remain alert to the potential for small earthquakes, ground deformation, or hydrothermal explosions, which are more likely and can be dangerous. The data collected also helps understand similar volcanic systems around the world. Current conditions indicate that the magma at Yellowstone is mostly solid, not liquid, and shows no signs of activity leading to a major eruption in the near future. The study also revealed several pockets of basaltic and rhyolitic magma at depths variable, but with a low melt fraction, meaning it's not yet capable of erupting. According to the Yellowstone Monthly Update, scientists discussed the latest findings on the magma system, as well as earthquake activity, deformation, and small explosions like the one at Black Diamond Pool. They provided scientific explanations and indicated that there were no signs of unusual volcanic activity. Recently, a viral video of a bear running away sparked rumors that Yellowstone was about to erupt. However, scientists from the USGS and YVO confirmed that there were no indications of abnormal volcanic activity. They monitor a variety of parameters, earthquakes, deformation, gas, to identify potential threats early. Yellowstone remains stable at this time. However, YVO continues to monitor for tremors, ground changes, and other indicators, because in the scientific world, vigilance is key. Ground shifts in Yellowstone are not ordinary landslides. They are horizontal and vertical movements of the ground caused by magma pressure, hot water, and tectonic activity. GPS and satellite sensors measure these changes in millimeters, but their impact can be felt everywhere. This month, YVO recorded areas in the Norris Geyser Basin rising by several centimeters, while other areas are sinking slightly. This pattern suggests that deep pockets of magma and hot water are experiencing pressure changes. Ground shifts are triggered by three main factors. The pressure of magma pushing against the Earth's surface. The movement of hydrothermal fluids, 
hot water and steam seeking an outlet, small earthquakes that open fissures and trigger changes in the ground's position. Ground shifts can change the path of hot water flow, generating new geysers or closing existing ones. In extreme cases, rapid shifts can damage park infrastructure, such as roads and trails, or trigger sudden hydrothermal eruptions. Ground shifts are normal in Yellowstone, but they are closely monitored. Large, rapid changes can be a sign of increasing pressure beneath the surface, although at this time, scientists see no indication of a major eruption. Every centimeter of ground movement is a message from the Earth about forces at work deep within. At Yellowstone, we are not just observers of nature, we are witnesses. Hot mud pools or mud pots are unique hydrothermal features in Yellowstone. Hot water mixes with clay and minerals, forming a thick boiling mud. The combination of geothermal heat and natural acids dissolves the rock, turning it into a constantly moving mineral slurry. Rainwater seeps into the ground, is heated by magma deep within, and then mixes with volcanic gases. These gases contain sulfuric acid, which dissolves the rock into clay. The pressure from below pushes the mud out, creating the bubbles we see on the surface. The mud can reach temperatures of 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. Its distinctive odor, similar to rotten eggs, comes from hydrogen sulfide gas. For wildlife, this area is often avoided. But for photographers, it is a visual paradise. In spring, the mud becomes runny due to snowmelt. During dry summers, it thickens, even cracking on the surface. Each season, the mud pools change their appearance, a natural art form in constant motion. Sometimes, the gas pressure is too great. The bubbles explode more violently, sending mud several meters into the air. While rare, these events can be dangerous for visitors who get too close. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory monitors this mud flow area, recording temperature, gas composition, and pressure changes. This data helps us understand the hydrothermal system and detect danger signs, such as the possibility of larger hydrothermal eruptions.